Welcome back to Marketing Champions here today on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Wolpoff, your host. Again, we're talking about marketing with marketing experts around the country. Today, we're in McKinney, Texas with Mia Francis Poulin from The Copy House. And Mia, welcome to our conversation today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so, so happy to be here with you. And uh, we appreciate having you and very excited to learn more about you. So why don't we get started and share with us how you got started first in the marketing industry? Yes, thank you for that question. So I've been in the marketing industry for over a decade now at this point. Uh, I got my start uh, thinking that I was going to go into book publishing. I've been a writer and a reader for as long as I could remember. I uh, spent a very hot summer in New York, realized that I was way too Southern for it. Uh, hightailed it back to Texas and ended up in the health education industry in the marketing department um, after graduating with my uh, degree in English Lit from Tulane University. So I uh, did not have the traditional business marketing background in my undergraduate, uh, my studies, uh, but I decided that I was going to go into marketing anyway, because with an English degree, you can probably imagine uh, people think that you go into teaching or maybe book publishing, uh, but marketing is kind of very much separate. So I ended up in the creative space uh, within the marketing, um, within the marketing role that I was in, creating content, creating copy, writing lots of product descriptions for health-related um, items, and going to trade shows, and really just trial by fire, almost um, learning how marketing actually works for uh, big companies. And so, uh, after traversing the corporate world, uh, I decided to branch out on my own uh, over three years ago, and um, and and do what I love best, which is working with words and helping people make money. So the key to your business right now is content. And you do a lot of writing and have a staff of writers who are providing content for your clients. How does the conversation start when you bring on a new client? Yes. So the copy house, what really does set us apart, even though we started as a uh, very high touch copywriting agency, specifically creating words that sell, sell, we created a subscription model, a subscription based model where people can get flat rate, one stop copy, whether it's email content to make sales or social media content or white papers or basically any type of copy or content asset that you need, you can get it you can get it at the copy house. And so the way that we've really systematized how we can do our client intake is by knowing the, the, the exact questions to ask, making uh, or partnering with our clients rather uh, to get them to create their company style guide and really focus in on their voice guidance. Whereas a lot of companies really focus in on what's the visual branding, what's the visual um hierarchy of, of information that needs to be um, present and really helping and partnering with them to know what their voice guidance is. And then from there, our team of 15 writers can uh, take that information. Once you come in with a copy request saying, I want a case study on XYZ, here's a little bit of the information. We can take that, know exactly what your company voice is and create an asset that sounds like you and then also gets you to um, to take that next step of, of securing the, those clients or those customers. Now, you bring up an interesting point because first and foremost, it's about the story. Your client's story needs to get out there. And people talk about how video is a, a strongest way to get the story out there. But words do matter. And people are still reading even though the, the people make the assessment that they don't read as much, but the reading is still very important and that comes back to the words. So where do you see that that battle somewhat between video and words and, and the keeping that writing as part of all the different pieces that marketing uh, is, is supposed to be doing and getting a message out there for, for your clients? Yes, you bring up such a great point. And the thing to remember is that content is iterative, right? So you can have a video, you can have, um, you know, private podcasts, for instance, are, are all the rage now in the online marketing space right now. Um, you can have these different media types, but at the core of it, at the base of it is the message that you're looking to put out into the world, right? It's the messaging and it's the way that you say what you want to say to get a specific outcome. So even though we have different types of media that are, um, that are being used, um, you still have to be clear on what is it that I'm actually trying to say and why does it matter 
and what connection am I looking to make with the people that I'm I, that are in my audience? So yeah. Well, it's great that you have obviously the talents to bring the right words to the vision of your client's message and get it out there and really have a great game, great game plans for your clients to really help market them using these words and these talents. And we thank you so much for sharing everything that you're doing and, uh, and, and everything that you will be doing with your clients moving forward. Yes, thank you so much, Howard, for having me. And thank you so much for joining us as well. When it comes to the story, there's lots of pieces and lots of chapters, but they all need to start with the written word. And getting the right words out there are very important through emails, through the copy on website, through social media. There's so many ways that you need to get your words right and so you can be heard the right way. And people like Mia and all she's doing at the Copy House is really a great way to assist if you do not have those abilities yourself. There's more information on Daily Ad Brief. But go out and have a great rest of today. And we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.